Good day students, today we want to solve problem on the geometrical progression involving the first term and the last term. Uh, when we are solving problem on the arithmetic progression, we talk about the common difference by subtracting the first term from the second term. But when we are talking on the geometrical progression, we mention we talk about common ratio. That is, it involves, it involves division. We divide second term by the first term. Let's see what you are saying. Now, let's see this. A, which is the first term, is 2. The last term, which is also the number of terms, is equal to 1458. Okay? And we are looking for the number of terms. We are looking for also the sum the number okay now let's go the formula for the that we need, we need to consider is n term which is the last term because a r is for n minus one and there's another formula for sum which is a into r is for n minus one close the bracket over sorry so r is by n minus 1 down the negative minus 1 is not raised to power here but when you are looking for the n term or the last term the n is by minus n is by n sorry n minus 1 is raised to power of this r is that okay when you are looking for the last term n minus 1 is raised to power of this r but when you are looking for this sum minus 1 is down over r minus 1 okay that's when r common ratio is greater than one and that formula for sum is first term so I open bracket one minus r raised by n to the bracket over one minus r when r is less than one now in this case what are common ratio the common ratio because 6 divided by 2 divided by 2 that's 3 that means that we are okay, so using the first uh, formula of sum which but before then let's look for our n term let's look for our uh, number the number of terms is that okay let's look for our number of terms okay Uh, from here, let's write our last term tn equal to the last term because a is by n minus 1. That's the formula. Now, uh, let's put it here so that tn, TN equals to this and is equals to the last term. Is that okay? Now, what's our first term, which is 2 r times what's our r common ratio 3 raised to power we don't know n number of terms okay we don't know because we are asked to find the number of terms and the sum equals to the last term 1 4 5 8 divide both side both sides by 2 Side by 2, you have 2 times 3 raised power n minus 1 equals 1458 divided by 2, divided by 2, 2 cancel 2, 2 here 1, 2 here 14, 7, 2 here 5, 2, remember 1, 2 here 18, 9. You have 3 raised power n minus 1 equals 7, 2, 9. Since this one is 3 raised power n minus 1 we want to express this 729 in the form of 3 raised to power of a particular number now you can now come to one side of your book 729 use 3 it's 3 here 2 in the 1 3 12 4 3 9 3 3 24 8 3 3 1 3 8 that's 2 in the 21 
Terminator 2, 321, that's 7, 327, that's 9, 393, 381, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 raised to power n minus 1 equals to 3 raised to power 6, you cannot equate the power, equate the power, since so the base are the same, n minus 1 equals to 6, Okay, collect the light and n equal to 6 plus 1, negative 1 turn to positive, when it crosses the cosine, the number of times is 7, you can see that uh, it's very easy to get, when you know how to impute your value, now let's go look for the sum, since you have gotten the number of times, sum equals, I'm making use of the first one, because our common ratio is greater than 1 now sum of the cents ok, first term which is 2 open bracket common ratio 3 raised to power 7 minus 1 over, over what was our common ratio 3 minus 1 equals 2 open bracket 3 raised to power 7 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 that's 2 2 cancel 2 sum so the seventh term equals to 3 raised to power 7 minus 1 divided by so I divided it okay 3 raised to power 7 minus 1 now we need to know 3 raised to power 7 now let's do the multiplication Now let's say 3 times 3 times 3. We are multiplying 3 in 7 places. Now 3 times 3 has 27. And that 3 times 3, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Now let's multiply 27 by 27. Now 27, so nearly 1, 3. 27, 7 times 7, 49. Carry 4. 7 times 2. 14 plus 4 that's 18 8 carry 1 so we bring 1 here 2 times 7 14 4 carry 1 2 times 2 4 plus 1 5 that's 9 2 6 7 what time with the last 3 3 times 9 27 2 3 times 2, 6 plus 2, 8. 3 times 7, 21. Which is 2, 1, 8, 7, minus 1. Sum of the 7th. Okay. Well, I have to find this number of terms and the sum in the following sequence. Which is the move one from it. You have 2, 1, 8, 6. Okay. This is the end of our class. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can have access to the latest video. Have a wonderful day.